my name is Dr. Guevara and for the majority of my professional career, I've specialized in the treatment of people in pain. I meticulously keep up with the medical and non-medical treatment options that are available to my patients. In this short video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the causes of rotator cuff tendonitis and what are the most effective treatment options that are available to you at home. Basically, the rotator cuff consists of four muscles, the supraspinatus, the teres minor, the infraspinatus, and the subscapularis. Now, the function of these muscles is for not only supporting the joint, but also it allows you to abduct the, sh the shoulder, externally rotate the shoulder, and internally rotate the shoulder. As we see here in the x-ray, I have an x-ray of a shoulder. Here we have the arm bone, the humerus, the scapula, or the shoulder blade, and the clavicle, or the collarbone. Here, these, these bones consist of the shoulder joint. Now, the, as I mentioned before, the rotator cuff muscles, they originate here from the scapula, and they attach into the head of the humerus, the arm bone, and that's where we get all that motion from the rotator cuff. Now what happens with tendonitis is you have inflammation, and most of the inflammation happens at the insertion point, which is over here in the head of the humerus, and that's where a lot of people feel the pain. You feel pain on the side of the shoulder or on the back of the shoulder, and a lot of the times you see this in people who do repetitive motions throughout their day, such as painters, if they're painting up and down, or carpenters, or, or roofers, anybody that's doing overhead motions will probably see, have pain over here in the shoulder area as a result of rotator cuff tendonitis. You see a lot in athletes as well, swimmers, when they're going overhead, or pitchers, they develop rotator cuff tendonitis. Now, one of the most common treatment options and that, that's highly effective and I recommend is the use of therapeutic ultrasound. Therapeutic ultrasound has been used by doctors for over 60 years and it's very safe and effective. And now with technology, you can even own a home unit for yourself. The way ultrasound works is by emitting, emitting high-frequency sound waves deep into the tissues, and that allows for an increase in the healing process and also a reduction in swelling and edema. Now, if you're interested in learning more about therapeutic ultrasound and how it can help you, I encourage you to visit my friends at easyultrasound.com. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I wish you all the best.